Hi, my name's Tim. I'm a freelance cameraman and uh, I've had this lens. It's a Canon um, 70-200 f4. Fantastic lens. I've had it a few years but it stopped working. Yes, if you've got one of these you'll know it stopped working. You get the focus here, you see, I think it's, um, it's an actual design fault. You can um, Try to focus down to 1.2 and it, it won't go there. You can see it's, it's struggling. It'll go to infinity, but not, <laughs> but not beyond. It's, uh, see, it won't even, when it's pointing upwards, it's even worse. So it's, it's definitely not, uh, not working. It's not so bad if it's horizontal, but if you want to do a proper pull focus on video, then you're going to struggle. And, and I like to use this lens manually, and I don't like to use it in automatic. So, let's take it in bits, get it fixed, and you'll, uh, you'll be very surprised <laughs> the method in which I get it working. Five minutes. Right, so what you need to do, you need to take the lens cap off, you need a couple of skewers, and you need to find the two little holes here and undo this plastic ring that holds, well, it doesn't hold anything, it's just a, a cosmetic thing. So if you use the wooden skewers, that's best because it won't and the metal won't damage the plastic. So once you get it unloosened, it stays easy to take off. A bit more difficult to put on. <laughs> so there we are, that's the, uh, the plastic uh, lens cover removed. Now we have to take this off, which is just this little tiny bit here. Uh, and that's a simple thing to do. You need to find the three screws, because there's six screws in there. And the three screws, um, the first one is opposite the 70 to 200, which is this one. And it's a Phillips. It's opposite, opposite the word UMS, that's it. If you leave the, the, lens, the screw in the socket. Now we find the other one, which is opposite the word Japan. Take that out, and the other one is here, which is up at the word zoom. So leave the screws where they are, and just remove the top bit. And um, the word zoom is opposite the um, distance window. So there we are, it's exposed this little bit down here. And this is how we're going to fix it. We're going to get one of these, which is a wristband. I'll not put it on because it uh, might make it a bit greasy. Uh, wash it ideally. I'll tell you the, uh, the measurements. It's um, round about 65, no, it's about 70. It's about 70 millimetre. Um, it's about the size of this ring, actually. So there you go. That's probably a, a good idea of how big it is. Difficult to do. So yeah, it's about that size. Or maybe that size. That's how big it is. And what you do, you just pop it down the groove there between the gap between the lens ring, the focus ring, and the lens itself inside. Poke it down with um, a wooden skewer. Make sure it goes in there. It's not too tight, but it's there, that's in now. Poke it down about half an inch, something like that. 
and that will fix the lens. Look at that. You can go up until it's there's, a, there's a quite a stiff bit on it and there's a loose bit on it. So when it gets the loose bit, that's when it does the best focusing. So that's there. If you if you go to the when it feels stiff, that's that's where it feels stiff and it moves the focus in real time with the lens focusing ring. So if you go into the smooth bit, there's a smooth bit. That works perfectly now. It'll work upside down. That's really nice. And obviously it will work this way up as well. So that is mended, fixed, working 100%. And how long has it taken? Let me look at the thing. Oh, that's uh, five minutes. There you go. So let's get it uh, back together. We put the 70 to 200 millimeter opposite the zoom window, and that's the perfect place for it. It fits into place. And then we have to screw the three screws down. That's one. That's two, over the word Japan, and three, over the word Zoom, and that one was over the word USM. Okay, so that's back together now. Put the plastic ring back. Spin that round till it gets to the end. And then just tighten it. This is probably the most difficult part, actually. You can see why you might damage it if you use something metal. But these are wood, wooden skewers. Definitely get two of those. Right. Final test. Working perfectly. That is perfect. You see the lens going in and out there. That's close up. That's infinity. Working perfectly. There you are. That's how to fix a 72 to 200 millimeter f4 Canon lens. And if you've got one like this, that's been uh, it's worn out or it's um, or the focus has stopped working because of the uh, bad design of it then it's a simple fix by just uh, sticking one of those into the lens into the gap between there and it fixes it how easy is that works perfectly now in manual but it doesn't work in autofocus now so don't even try it because it'll you'll damage something either on your camera or on the lens it'll burn something out so don't come and email me and say you've, you've broken it because I take no responsibility because I've, I've told you that it's it'll damage it but it's fine in manual and uh, I'll do some uh, some test shots for you on the uh, on the Canon 5D Mark III and just let you have a look how a pull focus should work rather than uh, not working as it did before okay here's a test shot I'm turning the focus ring clockwise to the right until it's in the stiff position, which is at 1.2 meters. It's in the stiff position now. I'm now going to move the focus ring leftwards from 1.2 meters to infinity, and it's going to go in the full range of the, uh, the distance. It's going to go a quarter of a turn of the focus ring. So here we go. That was a quarter turn, not the usual half turn. So we're going to go back again. And there we are. That's a quarter turn from the whole range from infinity back to 1.2 meters. I'm now going to move the focus ring anti-clockwise towards infinity and keep turning until we find the smooth place on the lens focus ring. 
Right, there's the smooth place. It's now in infinity. And I'm going to go back to 1.2 meters and it's going to travel a half a turn of the lens, a half of the diameter, which the last one was a quarter. This is going to be a half now, which is the normal mode. So here we go from infinity to 1.2 meters. There's 1.2 meters. And that should be perfectly in focus. And we're going back half a turn. My finger, my thumbs on the 70 to 200 position. It's going to go into infinity. And there it is. That's over by the switch. So that's half a half a turn as opposed to a quarter of a turn. Fascinating. You don't even get that on expensive lenses. So there we go. That's the fix. Thank you for watching. Well, what I could do now, I could show you how to take it in bits. Uh, what I'm going to do now is take it in bits um, in case you ever need to take the, um, uh, the wristband off. So we'll take the lens cap off, undo this top. So it was a little bit difficult. Right. Good. Take it off. And again, we've got to take these three screws out. So line yourself up with the 72 200 opposite the distance scale. Take the screws out that don't have glue on them. So that one's opposite the word zoom. This one's opposite the word USM. And the third one is opposite the word Japan. So we undo that. Take it off. That's the collar. Um, I don't know if you can see inside there, but there is a blue wristband that makes the focus work as if by magic. <laughs> and what you need, you need a paper clip, not a paper clip, but a paper clip with a little hook on the end. So you get some pliers, just bend the end round so that it's. Um, makes a nice little hook. You see the hook? And we're going to pop it in here around the back of the rubber band and just pull it out. Put the collar back, lining it up with the 70 to 200 across the distance gauge. Screw the screws back in again. Put the plastic ring back. And just tighten it so that it just won't slide off. There you go. So there we have it. It's not working again. How oh, annoying. But that's... Um, it'll, it'll go to infinity, but it won't focus any further than, or any lower than that. Unless you turn it upside down and then it's not so bad, but then it gets stuck going the other way. I think what it is, there's a lot of glass in there which is used for focusing. And I think it's a design fault, so... Um, if you've got um, a Canon 70 to 200, it's dead easy to uh, to make it work again in manual, but it won't work in automatic. So if you want it on automatic, it's fine. Leave it like that, and um, that's the Canon 70 to 200 f/4 fixed for virtually nothing. You've probably got some laying about in your cupboard some when you draw. Uh, so there you go. That's how to fix a Canon lens. So if you want to send me uh, some PayPal money, there's a link to my <laughs> website uh, for a donation. So I'd be grateful for anything you send, but you don't have to. Um, 
but if you're um, if you want to it's there uh, press the old like button somewhere down there and um, <laughs> that's what they all say anyway and that's how to fix a Canon lens <laughs>